Punch reports that during the mass funeral for the 73 victims of the Bin killings which took place on Thursday, January 11, a leader of the Tiv Nation and the chairman of the Northern Elders Forum, Wantrig Paul Anango, said that the people of the state would defend themselves if President Muhammadu Buhari failed in his responsibility of protecting lives and property of citizens. Recalling how Bin Windijins fought the civil war, he stated, Bin people sacrificed blood for the unity of this country and will not allow a section of Fulani herdsmen to kill our people in cold blood. I am telling Nigerians that my people cannot continue to be cannon fodder for this country. If the government can't protect us, we will mobilize and train our people into an army to defend us. The nation is also reporting about the mass burial ceremony. According to the publication, the funeral sparked outrage as crowds of grieving people dressed in black dresses, convened for the ceremony. Among the crowd were prominent citizens of the state, led by the paramount ruler, the Tordive, his royal majesty Professor James Iots, who gathered at the IBB Square, where the burial ceremony was held. The mass funeral reportedly marked the most tragic moment in Benin State's 41-year existence. Still on the situation in Benue, this day is reporting that the mass burial ceremony was a moment of agonizing grief and heartrending emotions. Those who attended reportedly began trooping out to the venue as early as 6 a. According to the publication, several elders and politicians from the state decried the federal government's inaction in nipping the herdsmen's menace in the bud and expressed their bitterness over the slaughter of their people. Speaking at the ceremony, the state governor, Samuel or Tom, lamented that the harrowing incident took place just as the state was eagerly looking forward to a better year. Vanguard is reporting that several politicians, traditional rulers and other stakeholders from the South South, Southwest, Middle Belt and Southeast, have also reacted to the bin killings. According to the publication, these individuals who met for the handshake across the Niger summit which took place on Thursday, January 11, urged the federal government to declare Midi Allah a terrorist organization. In addition to this, they called for the restructuring of the country along regional lines to ensure growth and development. The Guardian is however focused on the Nigerian economy. The publication is reporting that hopes for improvement in the nation's economy dimmed as the federal government admitted on Thursday, January 11, that it might not be able to implement the N8. 612 trillion 2018 budget because of the 2019 electioneering pressure. The paper reports that the hint was dropped by boss Mustafa, the secretary to the government of the federation, when he met the Senate Committee on Federal Character at the National Assembly, to defend the budget proposal for his office. <laughs>